So this is where we stopped from. Uh, I noticed the box here has gone low, has increased in height because of the padding we added at the top here. So we can just go in and uh, reduce the height of this bar. So let's give it maybe 200 pixels. And also if you don't add the height, it will be automatic. The height will become automatic. So you can leave out the height if you want. For example, if I leave it out like so, it's going to be automatic like that. So you might want that. That's fine. So now let's style these text boxes here. Now, if you notice, the text boxes have the same ID and that's intentional because I want whatever uh, styles I put for this ID will affect both of them. This is the power of CSS. You style once and it cascades down the road. So let me give one code text here because that's what we named. Uh, this is the ID we gave our text boxes. So let's look closely at our text boxes here, which are these ones. So we want them to look something like this. Now, immediately here, I can see something like, uh, for example, let me increase the height, for example. Let me increase the uh, height of these to 40 pixels, okay? Let me give them a specific width of 300 pixels. And let me see what happens. Okay, there we go. They are much bigger now. Hmm. And now, uh, if you see here, the border here is much fainter uh, on these guys. Okay. First of all, let's add this border radius thing so that we have slight con uh, slightly rounded corners. So let's add border radius of 4 pixels again, like so. And then we want to change the border now to make it more... Uh, much lighter. So we just put border like that. So what I'm changing is this line outline of the uh, text box. Now before I do that, if I check what we have right now, as you can see the text boxes look a little bit 3D and we don't want that. That's why I'm changing the border here to make it look more flat. So I want border. Now border is uh, Unlike these others, I'm going to use a shortcut. I'll add three things in one. I'll say solid, one pixel, and then I'm going to say, I could say gray, something like that. That's a valid color, but gray is still too dark. So the value I'm going to use is put a hash and put 888, like so. Now, why I've put these three values is because I'm compressing three properties in one. So border, contains three properties. So solid means the line of the border should be solid. One pixel is the thickness of that line. And then this is the color right there. So if I refresh, you see that. So if you can't remember these things, that's fine. Just come back and review the video and you're going to uh, reuse them. As you use them more, you're going, they're, going, they're going to become uh, easier and easier to remember. So instead of 888, what I would do is I'll put AAA. That's much lighter. Okay, that looks much better. Now, uh, in here, there's an email address or phone number inside there. So in order to add that, we're going to down uh, go down here and tell it to have a placeholder. There's something called placeholder. This is the text that is there before the user types something. So I'll put email in there. So there we go, there's email. So once I start typing, email disappears. Okay, very convenient. Now you see email is too close to the edge, so I'm going to put some padding. But before that, let me add also a placeholder on the other input here. This one will be password. Mm -hmm. So let me go up here. And I'm going to add some padding. Uh, let's add again four pixels for good measure. And let me increase the font size as well here. I'm going to increase it to four, 14 pixels. So if I refresh, 
there you see that looks much closer to that even though this is much uh, dimmer so to make it dim if you want the color to be dimmer instead of a you can put b b b or c c c so just try c c c and see what happens and you see they are much dimmer so maybe c c is uh, better for you and so on now let's style the button itself now the button has the same color as the top here so let's go back here and call it what did we name it we gave it an id of button so let's go back here and add that with a hash and say button we want to style the button so width we're going to give it the same width as the boxes 300 pixels and then let's give it a height as well and we'll give it for 40 pixels same same and then we're going to add a border radius as well to give it a few rounded corners of four pixels and what else do we need we're going to uh, make sure the font is bold so we're going to say font uh, weight and we'll say bold okay so let's refresh and there we go now it's looking a bit 3d as usual and i don't want that so i want to remove the border so here we can remove the border since we'll have a background color so i'm just going to say border uh, like that and just put none because i don't want any at all so let's refresh and there we go but i want to change the background color to this color up here now we have this color in the main bar which is this one so that's the background color right there so let me copy that and bring it back down to button here and say background color and then once i refresh there we go now the text color should be white because we can clearly see it here so let's do that and say actually text color is just color i'll just put white here like so and there we go so as you can see we are here and there is that so if you want some more space between uh, this and that you can still add a break tag at the very end here right at the end so let me just copy this break tag add it there add as many break tags as you want at the bottom here to add more space uh, actually it's not even working or is it let me add some more and there we go okay so you can add some more if you want more space as many as you want mm -hmm. so this looks more like this now a very good uh, comparison now if you want this to be bold the text to be bold in here we can simply add font weight in bar 2 so that the entire bar has a text value of bold which this is the font weight I added to the button so instead of doing that I can simply cut it and add it to the entire bar so that all the text in there is bold and let me refresh okay so we have board there and the board has gone there so let me just add it back I will just un un undo and then go back to the bar and add the font weight again so that we have two of them and there we go so log into my book so the user can type the email and the password now if your user is in front of somebody and they don't want them to see their password we want this part hidden so in order to do that we go back here uh, instead of giving it a type of text this uh, input we're going to give it a type password and that's it so once we refresh if i try to type a password it's like that all right, so, so far we are done with our login page. Uh, the next thing to do is our sign up page. Now, since the login page is already done, we are simply going to copy this whole thing and add a few extra details to get the sign up page and we will be home and dry. So see you in the next video where we create the sign up page.